We are going to get straight into your forecast because we've been following the tropics and the storm. Debbie, we got Evan Stewart here, our meteorologist. Evan, what's the latest on the track that uh, the storm is brewing? Yeah, well, not a lot of change over the past couple of days as it still looks like the Debbie is going to emerge back here into the Atlantic and then come back ashore through parts of South Carolina. And that rain shield is working its way towards the north. Some of those router, outer rain bands already affecting southern parts of Hampton Roads. We've seen some of the heavier rain push through the outer banks of North Carolina. But here's that center. You can see it's moving here just close to the coastline, right along the state line between Georgia and South Carolina. Here is the 11 o'clock advisory. Winds of 40 miles per hour. It's moving towards the east northeast at six, currently only 15 miles south of Savannah, Georgia. Now that forecast track does call for the storm to move back out over the Atlantic and then come back ashore near Charleston. And just in that brief time over the Atlantic waters, it could strengthen back into a pretty substantial tropical storm by Thursday morning. So we're still talking about two days from now. We're going to see that heavy rain here along the South Carolina and Georgia coastline. Then eventually it'll be picked up by a front and pushed off towards the north and east. But we're looking at several days of rain here across the southeast coastline. Here's the latest five day rainfall forecast. Of course, this is on top of already some of the heavy rain we've seen across South Carolina. And notice that there is this band of over 10 inches of rain right along the state line between North and South Carolina. Southern Virginia, Raleigh, Fayetteville could pick up 7 to 10 inches of rain. And even here in Hampton Roads, 2 to 4, maybe 3 to 6 with some higher amounts off towards our west. And the area that we're watching closely for the potential for flooding through the day today and into tomorrow morning, South Carolina and coastal North Carolina by Wednesday morning. That spreads towards the north. And Thursday morning spreading up through parts of North and South Carolina, and that's why that area is already under a flood watch and that potential for flash flooding later this week is for Hampton Roads as we could see some of that heavy rain moving into the area. We have been tracking this outer rain band lifting towards the north as we have gone here through the morning and into the afternoon. Some of the heaviest of the rain right along the Pamlico Sound down through the outer banks of Dare County waves Rodanthe Salvo picking up that more moderate rain from Oregon Inlet northward up towards Nags Head and Kill Devil Hills seeing the rain along the Albemarle Sound all the way back towards Edenton. So for the rest of this afternoon, cloudy with a few showers around. As the clouds thicken up and some rain moves in, we will see temperatures dropping a little bit. Right now we're sitting at 87 degrees.